Hi there! If you live in a city, state, or province like I do that utilizes time of use electricity, you may be wondering, is this method really cheaper for me than a flat rate would be? In some areas like Ontario, Canada, where I live, you now have the option between one or the other. Without knowing which one's more affordable, how are you going to choose? Unsurprisingly, governments and electricity companies aren't always forthcoming with you, the customer, as to which really is your cheapest option, and the answer might surprise you when you really look into it. So today, I'm gonna walk you through the different scenarios depending on who you are and what your situation is, and you're gonna leave this video knowing for sure which type of rate is the best choice for you, and also how to use the system to your advantage. So I am Jen, if you've never been here before, this is a channel that is all about living on less. I'm a mom of six who loves to give life hacks and different tips and tricks on how you can really stretch your dollar. Today we're talking utility bills, and more specifically, electricity or hydro. Okay, so if you're like me, tiered pricing for electricity for a lot of years caused me some great confusion. It's not as simple sometimes as how they break it down on the bill. And honestly, sometimes I think that companies and governments make it confusing on purpose so that you as the user don't question it. They also seem to be making it harder and harder for you to adjust what your usage preference is. You have to either wait on hold on the phone for hours on end, or you need to access their easy, user-friendly online system that every single time you try to create an account or log in, it just boots you out or gives you an error. So I decided for this video that I was going to do a ton of research to try to dispel some of the mystery and confusion behind this issue. As you're watching, if you learn something new or you can concur with what I'm saying, please don't hesitate to press that like button below because it will help the video to do better and get out there to more people. Obviously share it around too if you know somebody who would benefit from this knowledge. Okay, first, the basics. What is time of use electricity or a tiered system and what is a flat rate? Basically, time of use electricity is a tiered system where you are charged a different rate depending on the time of day and the season. In general, most tiered rates will charge you the lowest rate from 7 p.m. until 7 a.m. in the morning. And then depending on the season, they're gonna charge you a mid rate either in the morning or the afternoon, depending if it's winter or summer, and the highest rate either in the morning or the afternoon, depending on whether it's winter or summer. Now, what's the difference in price between these rates? Ontario actually has one of the biggest spreads of any jurisdiction for time of use electricity in terms of differences in price. Your lowest rate on the tier is hovering around 10 or 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So per kilowatt hour that you use of electricity. And the peak hours, which is those afternoon hours in the summer like I was talking about, are over 21 cents. So that's double. Your mid-peak range is around 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, why in the world does this system exist, you might be asking? Well, it was implemented all in the name of protecting our grid so it wasn't overloaded and also encouraging people to use less electricity during peak hours because that's somehow better for the environment. I'm gonna tackle that myth in a second, but what you basically need to know is not everywhere has tiered electricity pricing. It just depends on where you live. What is flat rate electricity pricing? It is you are charged the same amount no matter what time of day it is, no matter what season it is, no matter how much you use. Now Ontario and other jurisdictions have also introduced kind of a hybrid of flat and tiered rate pricing, which is this. You are charged a flat rate up until a certain amount. So if you in your monthly usage stay under, for example, 2000 kilowatt hours in that month, you're just gonna be paying one flat rate. So Ontario right now, I think that's about 12 cents per kilowatt hour. If you use higher than the 2000 kilowatt hours per month, 
then your rate bumps up and it bumps up to something like 15 or 16 cents per kilowatt hour. So a lot of people see that flat rate and they're like, oh, well that's way more expensive. I'm not gonna go with the flat rate because on the tiered system, I can be getting my electricity half the time at only 10 cents. It's way cheaper to do tiered, right? Wrong! I'm about to explain the math to you and why that is wrong, but first I want to tell you a little story. I mean, Ontario, they couldn't make things more confusing if they tried in terms of electricity, could they people? And to add confusion to it, during this pandemic, they have given people a break on their electricity bills and we're all paying a flat rate for a while until we're not and we suddenly get a bill and it's back to tiered again. So how do we know when we have to switch to doing all our laundry and washing our dishes at night again, people? So what I did is I actually called up our electricity provider, our hydro provider, to ask them point blank which of these systems based on my family's usage was more affordable and I think any of you watching it is totally worth it to call up your company be put on hold and ask them this question because you will be surprised at the answer I assumed our family is very conservative with our electricity usage. I always did every load of laundry after 7 p.m. We waited to start the dishwasher till then. Everything was on a timer to not come on till after 7 p.m. All the children are at school, my husband's away at work, I'm basically the only one home during the day, I have most of the lights off, it's not using a whole lot of electricity during the peak hours. So I thought for sure our family it's cheapest to do to your pricing because we were probably saving a ton by doing it this way. So when I talked to the customer service representative, I asked them this question and I asked them to look at my past years of use and calculate out for me using their little system and computer, which would be cheaper, the tiered system or the flat rate system. And guess what he told me was cheapest for my family, flat rate. And not just by a little bit, he informed me that I would probably be saving 30 to $40 per month on my electricity bills if I switched off of tiered billing to flat rate. Now let me tell you, it is not easy to switch how you do your billing. At least the company we use does not make that easy. So I would have gone on for years and years and years just continuing to use the tiered system, not realizing how much money I could have be saving if I hadn't made that call and sat on hold. And the way it works out math wise was this. So even though with the tiered rate, I'm only charged 10 point something cents per kilowatt hour for half of the day. Even though I use a lot of my electricity during that half of the day, the other half of the day where I thought I'm using hardly anything, I'm still being charged double. So my stove and fridge are still plugged in. I'm being charged double for that electricity. I still have hot water being used for showers and baths the odd time during the day. I still have my crock pot plugged in for dinner. I have my computer charging in my phone and all of that time I'm being charged double electricity price. So even if you're using a lot of your electricity during non-peak times, it really is a wash when you consider the fact that you're being charged 1.5 or two times the price during the day. So when he plugged those numbers in, he calculated that I would only ever be charged at the lowest flat rate because he said, to be honest, you guys use so little electricity that you will never meet the threshold where your flat rate is gonna bump up to a higher flat rate as we have with the tiered flat rates in Ontario. He actually complimented me. He's like, I don't know how you're using such little electricity when you have eight people in your home. But anyway, that's a whole different story. Maybe that's another video all about conserving, but there's a lot of things we do to do that. I'll maybe link a video that talks all about that here, but I digress. Another thing I discovered is that most businesses in our area are not charged time of use electricity. Theirs is more similar to the flat rate system. So to me, I'm thinking if the whole reason we have a tiered electricity system is to be better for the environment, 
why is our local big box store not charged time of electricity at all? Because really, in the heat of summer, we're all turning our air conditioning off so we're not charged double the electricity, and meanwhile, we walk into the local grocery store or Walmart and we have to put a sweater on, it's so freezing cold in there, and they have every single fluorescent light on they possibly could in the building. So, if businesses, if agriculture, if they're all being given a break on electricity prices, then it's not better for the environment to do this tiered system for personal users who do not use the most electricity in our province. People sitting at home typing on their laptop, I mean, that is not our drain on electricity. It's actually business. It's manufacturing. It is stores. That is who is using the most electricity. And if we truly want to make a dent on reducing our consumption of electricity, then I think our governments need to come up with a different solution than the tiered pricing system for electricity. I honestly, I don't think it's effective. So what happened? My family switched to flat rate electricity. It made it so much cheaper. And let me tell you the difference it has made in my life. I can now do my laundry during the day when I have time to do it. I can run my dishwasher during the day when I have time. And then in the evening hours when I'm already swamped with a million things that I am doing, I'm not also having to do everything that requires electricity. So it has made a huge difference in my stress levels lowering in our family life and guess what we're not using more electricity than we were before we're using the exact same amount we're just using it at different times during the day and we are saving 30 to 40 dollars a month on our utility bill which is cheaper for your situation well if flat rate is cheaper for my family that's super super conservative in how we use our electricity then it's probably gonna be cheaper for most people time of use electricity was not cheaper for us, it's probably not gonna be cheaper for you. But the moral of the story here is, do your research, call up your provider, talk about the different systems available. Your bill, there, if you get a paper bill or an email bill, it might be confusing. You may not understand what they're trying to say. And yes, they're putting lots of pictures and words in there to on purpose make it confusing for you. So call them up and call them out and truly dig in and ask, what is available for you. Many people I knew in Ontario weren't even aware that they had the option to switch out of the tiered system and into a flat rate this past fall when it became available. So, um, you know, there's not a huge ad campaign out there about this. So get on top of it yourself. Be smart and don't be taken advantage of. To learn more about how you can save on your household budget, check out these videos I have to the side. Subscribe and click that notification for more future content. And if you have anything to add to this conversation, perhaps you have a question or two, or maybe you have some really awesome advice for saving on your electricity bills, please pop them in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. For the least, this is Jen.